What's going on guys, Twig and Timber Outdoors, and today I'm going to show you guys a really cool rod that I'm going to bring with me to Mexico that is travel friendly and will catch big fish. The company I'm going to show you today is actually not a very well known company, however it is a company that I've done a video on before. It is Maximum Catch Fishing. They're an imported brand, but however, they have great customer service and they've actually done really, really well um, contacting me and getting me a few products to show you guys that I'm actually fairly excited about. So the big deal about this company is that they're super affordable. They have everything from really, really cheap and inexpensive stuff all the way up to fairly mid-priced and uh, actually really beautifully well done stuff. What I'm going to show you today is actually a travel rod. This is a 9 foot 5 weight. It's 7 pieces, 7 sections. So it comes already. It's less than 60 centimeters. And this already could fit in a backpack. This is fit in my luggage. This is actually already, off the, right off the bat, a really, really nice Cordura tube. It's a really, really well designed and nice and actually stitched Cordura tube. Let's open up and take a peek. After the Cordura tube, you actually have a rod sock. The rod sock itself is a satinish color, and it's called the, the V Traveler 9 foot 5 weight 7 section rod. So as we open this up here, you notice that the actual rod sock is differently designed than normal, okay? It's actually fairly wide because, well, seven sections need seven pockets, and each pocket is actually designed specifically for that section. So as we go first, we've got our real seat, half wells grip and actually a really really prettily designed I don't know if you can see that but it's actually a really attractive looking rod it's very light okay for a five weight it's very light it has somewhat of a very dark evergreen this is an IM10 graphite the real seats actually kind of a classic looking real seat not usually something that I usually find in low uh, cost rods I'm going to assemble the rod really quick here in hyperspeed just so I can show you guys kind of what the rod looks like and um, the ease of putting it together. Alright, instead of putting the whole rod together for you, I just kind of wanted to point out a few things. I've actually already casted this rod. This rod casts very well. You'd think for seven sections, the ferrules would cause some form of um, stiffness or dead spots in the actual rod blank itself. but. To be honest with you, as somebody who fly fishes very frequently and casts very often, um, I didn't notice that much of a difference between a force piece or a three piece or the seven piece. And especially when overlining, it creates a nice buttery smooth delivery. I've casted IM10 and I've talked about IM10 graphite rods before. And to be honest with you, for the cost, they're actually fairly decent rods. I, they, you get a lot of good casts, you get pretty accurate casts. They are on the softer side um, anytime you use a lower cost rod, but the, you know, being a softer rod is actually not that bad for new casters. All right, and for a price point, I believe this rod itself normally retails for less than $80. Now, less than $80 for a compact, really fairly beautiful rod, okay, um, with, a, with a tube um, that you can take anywhere, uh, IM10 graphite. The uh, guides themselves are actually fairly nice. I mean, they're normal ceramic, um, nothing, and they're nickel finish. And what's kind of convenient for you too is as you're putting this together, they actually have alignment dots for you so you can get them as close to spined as you, as you uh, want. And in addition to, as I uh, line them up, you know, with a little bit of tweaking here and there, I was able to get them dead, dead nuts right off the bat. I cast it with a six weight line and a seven weight line because, well, I'm adventurous like that. And it actually held up fairly well to the seven weight line. It was buttery smooth like expected. And the six weight line was crisp, sharp, and it allowed me to turn over some really, really nice dries really easily. It's got enough backbone, being a seven piece, as well as it actually is a fairly accurate, medium, fast uh, action. There you are, guys. I thought this was a cool product, especially considering that most of the time when you look at travel rods, they're over $200. So if you want to check out MaximumCatchFishing.com or you can look on eBay and Max Catch Fishing, they have some really unique and fairly affordable products. And they're actually going to be sending me a couple of reels to be able to check out and show you guys as well. They call them the Avid Reels, and they look really nice. They're CNC and aluminum, and I'm hoping that, you know, we're able to get a whole brand new slew of fly fishing nuts out there, addicted just like we are. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, check out MaximumCatchFishing.com, as well as Lucky Tackle Box for all your flies, and as well as some really convenient ways to get some cool gear 
to take stream side. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and until next time guys, catch you guys on the flip side and tight lines.